marvelous Marvin Hagler. what they want to see. Every championship fight, they want to see a knockout. They want to see somebody knocked down. They want to see somebody beat up. So, hey, they're talking to Marvin Hagler. They're talking to the right man. middleweight fight. Bobby Boogaloo Watts, local fire from Philadelphia. The crowd likes this exchange. You can hear them. They're getting into it. Good straight left by Marvin Hagler. Some good action in this round. And the winner is Bobby Boogaloo Watts gets a decision. The people at ringside do not seem to approve of it, and Hagler is definitely not too happy with it, especially his corner. of our super bout is Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. Marvelous Marvin Hagler, the challenger against the champion Vito Antifermo. You know, he's taking a lot of punishment. At least he's in the fight here. Antifermo has a chance to score. Good right hands by Marvin Hagler. And a left hook. Right eye, excuse me. As he looked like he might have been stunned there by the champion. And he is just landing tremendous combinations. Marvin Hagler landed some great left hooks a moment ago. We hope you've enjoyed our Super Bout. Marvin Hagler against Vito Anafermo. It was a 15-round draw, and I think that in itself had to be somewhat of a surprise. Alex. Well, some people thought it was a 15-round draw. <laughs> the judges did. Uh, there was quite a hue and cry over this fight afterwards. Many people feeling that uh, Hagler won the fight because he had landed so many punches. It's round one. Marvin Hagler against Sugar Ray Seals. Hagler coming into the fight weighing 161 and a quarter pounds. The fighters had agreed to a 162 minimum, and Seals is down.
Atlanta's second defence of the undisputed World Middleweight Championship. The only title in the whole of professional boxing that is undisputed. Hagler with a good left and a right. Mena says, come on, fight! And Mena is leaving himself open with this tactic and making it work. The mouthpiece out. Mena's mouthpiece out. Mena is hurt. Mena is ready to go. It's only the third round and Hagler is all over him. Fighting without his mouthpiece now. Mitch has not been able to make his own fight. It is a really very bad cut over Minter's left eye, and it stopped. It stopped in the third round, and Hagler's on his knees, acclaiming his victory. He said he was the rightful champion, and he's won it in three rounds, and people are throwing beer cans. One's landed on me. Beer cans are being hurled in all over the ring. There's a fight started over Hagler. Somebody's attacking him, and the rage has broken out all around Wembley. And these scenes are a shame and a disgrace to British boxing. But there it is, that's what's happening. A British boxing crowd wasn't able to accept defeat. And even the MC now has made an announcement to the crowd that the behavior has been disgusting. And I echo that. Uh, I give a lot of credit to Alimenta. He fought like a champion. Uh, the way to go out is the hard way. You know, you, you came hard and you go out hard. And uh, so he's, he should feel any embarrassment, anything like that. I figured that he was beat by a better fighter and it was good. This time, our timekeeper at the bell, in the tradition of the sport of boxing, will toll a memorial count of ten for the all-time great, marvelous Marvin Hagler.
forever a champion. Rest in peace with love. You're a terrific guy. Thank you very much. Good luck to you, Marcus. Thank you for being here. We'll be right back.